friends. It's Rita from Miss Rita to the Rescue back again for Cricket Chat. Uh, Cricket Chat with Miss Rita. And uh, I, let's see, I'm mean, so excited to be on here today. Don't know why. Uh, well, I know why, but but I was so excited to be on here today to show you these uh, things that I started a little bit early. So sitting at my desk, waiting for it to turn nine o'clock. Um, <laughs> but I just jumped the gun a little bit. So today is uh, sort of the end. Hello to everyone, by the way. Hello, Dawn and Sherry and Leslie, Gail and Barbara. Uh, who else we've got? Terry and Eileen. Eileen, I don't know if you heard me yesterday, but thank you, thank you for all of the lovely glue you sent. Hi, Lori Joe. Hi, Donna Lee. Hi, Rhonda and Deb and Bren is my friend Bren and my friend Loretta. All of you are my friends. Why am I saying my friend? Hi, Shirley and, <laughs> and Sherry. Good morning to everyone. Thank you for joining me today. So today, because it is the last few days of July and I love Christmas in July. I am. I designed a couple of cards for you, um, and I want to give you the, the files and show you how I put them together. This first one's pretty easy. It's all made pretty much with shapes except for the holly, and it is a Santa suit, and on the inside it says sending Christmas cheer. So I'm going to show you how to put this together. This would make a great card, just, you know, just a, a light card to send to someone. And then while I was at it, I um, kept looking at the Rob and Bob vintage uh, Merry and Bright card. And I thought, I want to make something with these vintage bulbs. So I decided to make this gift tag. And I'm going to give you both files so that you can um, see. I think both are in already in community, uh, but I will make sure to put them in the other um, the, the other place, like in the description of the video in case you're looking for it. Um, and what else, what else we had, uh, two, we made two great cards yesterday. If you missed it, definitely come back and rewatch. Re the only problem was I got interrupted in between the first part and the second part. So if you're watching it, um, there's two parts to it. So, uh, there are there's that. And also I'm going to be sending these off to my friends, Gladys or Perlita, as we know her and Sherry. Uh, yeah, Sherry, Sherry. Yeah, I think so. Um, so these are fun. These are fun cards. So easy to put together. I'm going to show you step-by-step step how I thought about this. Okay. Because, um, I know that some of our designer friends have things like this and I, I've always thought, you know, we can, we can make that. It's really just a bunch of squares. <laughs> so, well, um, this is, this is the thing I'm going to, I'm going to save this and what I'll do actually, what I'll do is I'm going to just group this and I'll hide it. Okay. So, um, really to start off this, we just need a square really a rectangle. So let's go ahead and grab a shape here. Now, you know, I like to, to design the front of my card first, and I like my cards to be uh, like five by seven inches. So what I'm going to do is just work on the front. I'm going to unlock this and I'm going to turn it into five inches wide by seven inches tall. Okay. Now, this is going to be the base of the card that's going to go on our card base. It really, um, size doesn't matter until the very end. So if you do some things that are like beyond the size, then that's okay. We'll, we can shrink it back down. So this is going to be my base layer, which is green, you see. Um, so I'm going to turn this green and it's just a base layer, okay? Then I'm going to go here and I am going to choose offset. Okay. And instead of doing a plus offset, right, we're going to go beyond the other side here and we're going to do a negative offset. So let's do as close to zero minus zero point 
0.25 sounds good. And um, use the squared off corner, then hit apply. Now there is your, um, your red. Now if you don't want to do that or you don't have access to offset, there are a few people. Um, you can always do it yourself manually just by grabbing a shape like this and making it a quarter of an inch smaller than your base. So in this case, width is 4.75 and height is 6.75. That's a quarter of an inch. And I believe that's the same size and well, pretty much this one here, four and a half. They get, mm, do I want that? Four and a, I want 4.75. I want it close. I don't want to see too much of the green. So I'm going to change that to 4.75 by 6.75. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. But maybe that's not a quarter. Maybe that's zero minus zero point one two five. I think that might be what I should have done. Zero point one two five. Okay, so there's my Santa suit. That's the start of the suit. We're going to go and get um, a square for this and then over here. And then I'll show you how to create that buckle. So let's go ahead again to shapes and we'll grab the square and we'll just duplicate it a couple of times. Do you ever really notice that the duplicates are going up to the left hand part of the screen? I, thought, I think that's pretty weird. Okay, so with one of your, uh, one of your shapes, you're going to turn that white because remember Santa has like a white almost like at the edge of his robe. He was like, where's a robe? It doesn't, I was first, I was like, does he need buttons? I was, I could have figured that out. So, um, so here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unlock this and I am going to make it uh 6.75 inches because I don't want it to go over onto the background. So it is two inches wide by 6.75 inches tall. See, that's where I'm going to put it. Now let's make the belt. So um, on the belt, we're going to bring it to the front here. And I think it should be um, like about one and three quarters inches uh, uh, high. Is it high? Yeah, high. One and three quarter inches. And then the length should be, uh, let's see, 4.75, I believe. Yeah, there we go. So there is his belt. If you want to make it a little bit, um, a little bit bigger, you can do it. I think one and a half might be good there. Okay. So there's that. So there's our belt and we can leave it black. It's already black, but if you want to choose black, black, that's fine. Now for the, um, let's move this over now for the buckle. So I want the buckle to be, um, I decided I'm going to use, use, a. Uh, glitter because I have a lot of glitter. I was able to get a lot of glitter in the last sale at, at, at uh, Cricut. So um, I got a lot of glitter. So I want to make this gold, right? Like this. And to make it look like the buckle, I think I might first unlock it and make it go beyond a little bit beyond the, um, the, red the white part like just a little bit you know so maybe that's like two and a quarter 2.3 okay so then what we're going to do we're going to use offset there it is again we're doing that negative offset with the square and it this one is 0 0.25 and we're going to hit apply now we have two pieces right here and I moved it, so I am going to use a line center. And then I'm going to select both of these, and I am going to slice them. Slices down here, down here. It's the one that has a circle in the square. So let's hit slice. And what that does is it creates this, the buckle. 
And if you want to, you can actually keep this here. I'm going to show you. So keep this part that got cut off. You just have to delete the other one. Now to jazz it up, I thought a lot of the old fashioned Santas have like a sprig of holly on his like collar. So I went to um, design space and I just typed in holly and came back with a bunch of great holly pieces. This one is the one that I chose it. I like it because it gives the outline there. So let me show you that one. I think, well, this one's pretty cool too, but that's not the one I chose. This is the one I chose right here. Um, maybe I can, no, I'll choose that one. Okay. Um, and I'm going to add it to my canvas and then I'm going to resize it a little bit because it's a little too big. So first I'm going to turn it around because I think it's supposed to go kind of like this and then I will resize it a little bit like this. So now we have the front of the card. Wasn't that easy? It only took me five minutes to do and um, yeah, so yay. <laughs> now we need to create the base of the card. Easy peasy. Also, again, with shapes, grab the square again, unlock it. If it helps you, go ahead and I'm going to group this together so I don't mess around. If it helps you, turn it white uh, or you can use any color you want, obviously. But this is just the base of the card. And in this case, it's going to be 10 inches wide by five, 7 inches tall. There we go. And then we're going to grab a score line from shapes again. Come on, score line. There it is. We'll make it seven inches tall. We'll put it on this square base, grab them both, hit a line center, and then grab them both and hit attach, which is down here next to slice. So attach is the paper clip. Okay. Now let's think about a few things here. We want to add a, um, right. We want to add a sentiment. And also, are we going to put this right on the card just like this and not see any of the white, I would probably do that. That's kind of like my style. So now I'm going to go find a sentiment. So here's what I found out about sentiments um, is that, yeah, you can go and look for phrases, which by the way, let me just go back and show you how you can do that. So I'm going to my canvas, whoops, on my canvas. And there is something here called phrases. You see that? So I suppose you could go there. Um, they're not filtered out. So they're, they're everything. So if you wanted to filter out, you can choose if I just want a written phrase. So I can go to operation type and choose draw only. And once I do that, um, I'm going to just type in the word Christmas and see what I get. Yeah, see, it's not as big as what I want. And also, not sure why this is showing pay, like money. Um, I'm wondering, they worked on, you know, what they okay. Um, so what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go to regular images. I'm going to type in Christmas like this. Once it is, I don't want to go to all phrases. I want to go to all images. All right. I got to go back. Sorry. Once you're in phrases, you have to go into images. So let's go to images and we're going to type in Christmas. There we go. Okay. And now we're going to do the operation type and we'll do draw only. Okay. I'm not sure what's going on there with phrases. Okay. So they're all our little A's and it says a uh, Christmas in here. And obviously it has some pictures that 
or for Christmas, but we're looking for a sentiment. And I like this one, plain and simple, Merry Christmas. But this is the one I chose, Sending Christmas Cheer. Okay, so I'm going to add that to my canvas. And I am going to size it appropriately. It's a little bit long, so I might unlock it and sort of just kind of make it a little bit taller. There we go. And then I select this whole thing and hit attach. So then we're able to just go ahead and cut this out and put it together. And um, we will. I want to come back to this because I want to show you how I did the light bulb and then we'll put both of them together okay so i'm going back to my projects and this is the one that we're going to do this christmas bulb gift card so interestingly um i wanted to show you this first if you get a file from somebody else and you want to see like where does that image come from you can come up here to where the name of the file is so I've named it Christmas bulb gift card and you can click on that and it will show you all of the images and fonts used in the project also if it was inspired by a different project it would probably say that I don't want to say it it will because there's a potential it won't, but, but I have seen it where it says inspired by. So you see here, I used a Christmas light. So I'm going to click on that image and it's going to bring me to that one image of a Christmas bulb. But I want to show you how to like, when you're searching for images, searching, you have to really do a lot of search to, to understand it. Um, Okay, so here we go. So let's go ahead and click on that triple dot and look at that image set just to kind of see. So this is really cool. This is a, a obviously it's a newer image set. It's called Christmas Light Party Decor. And these are meant to be used as banners, which is perfect. Um, and I definitely want to make a banner from this. So I'm saving all of these images because yeah. And, but I'm going to actually pull this one in. Okay. And once I did that, I'm going to make a few changes. I will ungroup it and show you what's in there. So there is the color. There's like the silver base and here is the back. You notice you need that back because it, it helps with um, giving dimension right there. Okay. Now I didn't add these. I actually took them off. I thought they were kind of superfluous. So I just deleted them. You can keep them in there if you want. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these dots. Okay. So I'm going into contour and I'm re just removing those two dots from each of those pieces. So let's do that, contour those out. And now they've gone from being an element of a banner to being what we wanted it to be, which is the base of a gift tag. So now what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna put this all back together and then I am going to do offset. Okay, this time I'm going to do 20.25 uh, inches all around. It doesn't matter if it's it's a rounded corner. I'm going to hit apply. Okay, so there's our thing here. Now um, let's turn it white. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to put these holes in here. Right. You see these holes and it actually has a score line right there. And so I want to go over to shapes and grab. Uh, why didn't it do that? I went to images instead. OK, I'm going to grab a hole. If my shapes ever come up, come on, shapes, shapes always give me trouble. I love you, shapes like I love you and, and you, you like no respect. Oi. Come on, shapes. Third time's a charm. Okay, here we go. So we want to circle. And remember, this is our offset layer. So we're going to take the circle and we'll make it, I don't know, maybe a quarter of an inch. I don't know why I'm moving it around, but let's make it a quarter of an inch uh, large. 0 
0.25. Um, is that big enough? Yeah. Then I'm going to put this on the offset layer. Okay. Then I put it where I want it to be. Then I am going to select them both and hit slice. Okay. We'll do the other side in a second. Let's get rid of these. Okay. So there is our base of our, of our, um, of our tag. Let's do this, arrange it to the front. Um, but one thing you can see here is that my hole is going to be behind the image. So here's what I did instead. Okay. So I'm going to actually go back and remove that hole. Okay. And I'm going to go get a square, actual square. So shapes again, I think I'll pick the rounded square. And I'm going to extend this a little bit. So see how this is kind of longer than the actual image? That's what I'm going to try to achieve here. So I am going to unlock it and then I can just sort of move it around. I just need a little tiny bit on there to sort of connect the back piece. Okay. So I'm going to shape, uh, put those shapes together and then I will hit weld. Um, and then now I have a place to put my circles. Okay. So duplicate this and then we're going to go up here to flip and we are going to flip, I think vertical. Yes. Vertical. So here's our flipping vertical, you see, and then we can put them together like this. And now we, um, we can do our circles there. Okay. So let's grab that circle and oh, let's arrange it to the front and to the front. And now we can put the, um, let's take our little there and let's grab this and just sort of place it arranged to the front. Okay. So I want my hole to be somewhere in this area, right? So there is good. Okay. So there's good. It's not interfering with my image. So again, take this off and then select them both hit slice. Okay. Can remove this. And actually, I'm going to take this one off because I want the one with the holes duplicated. So there's my holes that's duplicated. Again, flip, vertical. All right. And now I have two holes and on both pieces. And I'm going to weld these together. Okay. So how do I know if I have it lined up correctly to line it up correctly? You can use, um, a line, which is right here and you can do, um, a line right or a line left, and this will align them absolutely perfectly so that they will weld. Okay. So now we have those two and we're going to hit weld. Woohoo. We're cooking with gas here, folks. So let's, um, send this back and there are our pieces. Now, the only thing left is we need a score line in the middle here so that it will be, um, so that it will be able to fold it. And you can put your, you know, happy Christmas or something like that. So again, we go back to shapes and we choose that score line. Now the score line is up and down. It's vertical, right? So we want it to be rotated. So it's horizontal. We're going to use the rotation up here. We're just going to type in 90 degrees. That way, if you're moving it around, you're not getting it sort of weird, right? Weird, like it's correct. It's completely across, even if your brain thinks it's not. I'm going to select these both. I'm going to also do a line center. And then I'm going to attach it. Now, don't worry if the uh, score line exceeds this. It doesn't really matter. Okay. And now we have our tag. It's just a matter of this at this point um, of just 
deciding what size so and what color. So I was thinking uh, green and red, but you know, I remember that it used to be an orange. There used to be uh, a blue. I'm trying to think if there's any other colors that, was there a yellow? I'm not sure if there was a yellow. There was a blue and an orange in the old fashioned ones. And so what I decided on size for this was about six and a half inches high. And um, that's how I did it. So we're going to group this and I will give you this file, but I wanted you to see how you put shapes and images together to create something all of your own. You see? Um, so there you go. And we, I'll save this and you guys can see all three of them and decide what size you want to do. I actually, when I cut these out, I cut out, I think four, two red, two green. Um, I'm going to change this, this to blue because I think that would look great. And then the behind color will be like a lighter blue, I guess, or maybe a darker blue. I don't know. Uh, ungroup. And the way that this goes is it goes the dark with no, no cutouts goes in the back and then this comes through like that and there you go. And that is the easy peasy way of making your own gift tags and you could be a little machine and cut it, a bunch of these. So um, let's go back to the Santa suit card because I want to show you one thing about it. And that is has to do with scoring and writing the card itself. Okay. So um, what I'm going to do is I think I will hide this part here just so it doesn't interfere. So here's our card base and I want to show you how this works. Now I have a maker um, I have a maker three. And so it's going to ask me if I want to use the scoring wheel, which to be really honest, when I'm making cards, I don't, I don't use um, my scoring wheel. I use instead my scoring stylus. So I want to show you how do you deal with scoring and then writing. Okay. So as a maker user, I'm prompted, once I choose my material, I'm prompted to, and I chose my material, and hoping that, I do have my mat in there, by the way, I put that in there ahead of time, but I'm going to move you over to my machine in a second. Okay, so here it says, load your pan and the single scoring wheel. But in this case, I'm going to use my stylus. So I first have to tell DS that I'm going to change it. So I have to hit edit tools, choose scoring stylus. And then you notice it will say loaded scoring stylus. And then coming up is the pen. Okay. So that's where we're at there. Let's go over here. Have a look. So I have my scoring stylus in. It goes in clamp A. You do not take out the blade and housing from clamp B. And you click it down. And then you hit the flashing button. Sorry, I needed a drink there. Whew. I talk a lot. <laughs> um, okay. So I hit the flashing button and now it's going to the scoring. Scoring always comes first. Now on my screen, it's saying load the pen in. So I have to open this, take this out. And this is just a plain 0 0.4 tip of a black pen. They usually come with the machines. I'm going to pop it in. And they last forever, by the way. Pop it in. You see that when I popped it in, I was supporting the bottom of the carriage just because if it's jamming it down in there it's just not good for the carriage um and then i'm going to hit the button again and it's going to do the writing and then after that it will not stop and it will do the um do the cutting if you're going to make a ton of these like you're going this is the card you're going to make or whatever card you're going to make a lot of them 
personally, I would suggest that you do this part separately like I'm doing here. That way you can just um, keep loading in your paper materials and then you have all of your bases and then you can cut out however many of these pieces that you need and that way you're not wasting anything so I use my glitter uh, here and I didn't have to waste it on just one little square you know what I mean so now it's done riding and it's going to do the cutting and while it's doing the cutting I take out my my pen because I'm forgetful and I always forget. All right, that's it. Let's take this out. Come out. Okay, and let's go down here and put these together, okay? So here's my card base. If you want to know um, about, this is eight and a half by 11 inch paper that I'm using for the base. Um, you can, Cricut doesn't sell eight and a half by 11 inch paper. You can turn a 12 by 12 inch paper into eight and a half by 11, just using your trimmer. But I find it easier just to buy it eight and a half by 11. It makes perfect card bases. So I do stock on, button on this a lot. And we'll just fold it right here. Hi, Sue. Hi, Penny, my friend Penny. I love you, Penny. Okay. Um, hey, yesterday when we were working on the embossing, here's something I didn't think of. Um, I went back and I embossed these lips and I decided to put it on my tweezers. These are tweezers. You know, everybody gets them when they get the tools and they may not know what to use them for besides rolled flowers. And I decided I was going to use this. So when I use my embossing tool, it wouldn't go running off. And that's how I got my shiny lips since I don't have glossy accents right now or can't find them. Okay. So there's our card base. Let's put that aside and let's get all of our pieces that we've cut out. Super easy to do this. Now I'm going to use, because we have a lot of, a lot of squares, I'm going to use my double stick tape. I'm going to put it on the back, the green part on the back, on the back of the green part. There we go. So I have a really interesting story to tell you guys. Oh my God. Yesterday after the show, um, I noticed that Teddy, so I, I got Teddy Bear and Benji out and, and Lola, um, but Santo had put them like in, in the back and they were barking, remember? Um, and then, so Teddy and Benji came over and they were like sniffing over by where my paper, one of my paper um, stacks were. And Benji was like big, bright eyed, big ears. And I'm like, well, that's weird. Does he want a toy? There was like a toy over there. And no, nope, he didn't want the toy. And then Teddy Bear came over and he's kind of like a boom, boom, boom. And he came over and I see him. Uh, out of the corner of my eye, shake his head like like he was like attacking a toy. And I look over, I'm like, what are you doing? I look over because he doesn't play with toys really. And it's a rat. Oh my God, it was a rat. And it was a big rat. It was dead, thankfully. But I was like, oh my God, there's rats in my house. When I go to sleep, they're going to crawl over my face. And, ah, you know, I mean, I was just so grossed out. Um, and I couldn't figure out how did this rat get in my house? And how did it get especially on my porch? And I think it was our friend Frankie the cat. I think he, he killed this rat and brought it to me. Um, and dropped it off because he has a tendency, he's, he's a pretty low key cat, but he would not, uh, like hesitate to kill things because he has, including baby bunnies and everything. So here I am. I'm like, Oh my God, I'm not going to pick up the rat. And Santo had already gone. So, um, so after that, I was freaking out and I'm like calling all my family. I'm like, oh my God, there's a rat in my house. He's dead though. You know, and, and my sister's like, put a cover on it, you know, wait till Owen gets home. 
And I think Owen would have picked it up, actually. But um, so then at the door is my mother. She got a ride over from the transportation department in her complex, which was like, okay. I said, all right, it's a little bit crazy here right now, but come on in. And I showed her the rat and she said, I'll pick it up. And I'm like, no, I don't think she goes, no, we'll put gloves on and we'll get like doggy poop bags. And, uh, and then she did it. She picked it up and she like double bagged it and put it in the garbage or something. I don't know. It's garbage. It was garbage day. Uh, but I was like, oh my God, oh my God, I'm going to put this right in the middle here. Right. So now I'm like, they're gifts. Yes. They're gifts. Isn't that gross? Oops. I hit my, I hit my camera. Sorry. So, um, so yeah. And then she proceeded to, one of the things that I can't do right now um, because of the pain in my hip is I can't, uh, sweep. And I don't know if you know much about corgis, but they shed a lot. And so in every little corner of my house, and I know I've joked with you guys that I don't clean, but I do clean, but I don't clean that well. But anyway, in every little corner of my house, there's little dust bunnies, um, little, corgi hair. I mean, you would not believe how much corgi hair comes up when you just, you know, sweep the, the hardwoods. And, um, so I, I, she, I said, mom, you want a Swiffer? And she's like, yeah. So I gave her a Swiffer and she Swiffered everywhere. It was awesome. Whoever invented Swiffers, they need an award because, oh my gosh, I love it. All right. So that's pretty easy. I'm talking through this whole thing. That's okay. But here, what I want to do is I'm going to put this on, but then here's that extra piece that I turn black and I'm going to take some of these. These are double dots, double stick dots, and I'll show you what I'm going to do. So first I'm going to glue this on. Yeah, so she was really helpful. And then then she started a conversation with me about, hey, mom, you know, I was like, mom, uh, do you want me to take you home now? Because the transportation guy could only bring her here. So, um, so I was, she's like, yeah, maybe. And um, she was so enthralled by the fact that I made her a turkey roll up. <laughs> I was like, I put turkey in a low carb, uh, like burrito thingy. What do you call it? Like a wrap. And, um, and she's like, who made this? You just made this. You went in. She, that's the thing about her dementia is like, she doesn't, um, like she's in awe of everything, which is great. Like when we take for rides, um, she looks at the trees and she's like, look at that tree. Oh my gosh. Look at those flowers. And she really is exploring them. It's almost like she's never seen them before. And it's so beautiful. Um, and so here goes our thing. And I put those dots on it just to give it a little bit of dimension. Okay. And then where's our, here it is. So here's our little holly. So we need to glue this piece onto here, see? Um, and yes, yeah, she's going to come back over. She feels like she's helping, and she is. She cleaned out my sink, and I'm like, I have a dishwasher, Mom. And she's like, that's okay. I don't like dishwashers. And she did all my, like, the dishes that were hanging around. She washed the dog bowls. She um she has this thing about putting up all the shades and I'm like, no, no, it's hot out. We want to keep the heat out. She's like, oh, okay, that's okay. And she was really sweet. She was really sweet. She wasn't really combative, which she has been in the past. Um, and I just kind of like, you know, ignore that. But but she was real sweet. And she's like, I'm going to come back over and we'll work on projects. So I have this project that I want to tell you about. I told you about the, the Lego project yesterday. But this one here um, is something she can do at home the lego project she's going to do from uh from 
my house because it's so many stinking Legos. I'm telling you guys, I'm going to have to show you when we bring them all from upstairs. I'm talking thousands of, this is not a small Lego, uh, Lego thing. My son had every Lego, every Lego set that you could have. He has the pirate ships. The only thing he didn't have was the Star Wars ones because he really wasn't into Star Wars. So, um, she wants to do it, but she was immediately getting overwhelmed. I'm like, mom, I'm going to be there. I'm going to help you. So don't get overwhelmed. So I found another project while she was sitting down after she had her lunch of all these cards. So you guys know, I make all these cards and I, and I, up until recently, I just would put them in a box. Cause you know, I have my card box, but I never organized my card box. And now my card box is like, 10 card boxes and they're just everything in there you know this thanksgiving with halloween and um all those things and so um i wonder if i should put the pop dots on this yeah why not you only live once um so so um so we started going through and what's so cute is that she looks at every single one of them she's like oh my goodness you made this wow. And it really is a boost to your ego. It's an incredible boost to your ego. So she was going through one box. We went through it together and, um, you know, she had a little difficulty with that. I don't think she'll have the same difficulty with the Legos because Legos are basically, they come in an assortment of colors. They're all the same, you know what I mean? And, and then they come in different sizes. So for, uh, for, her, it will be easier because everything looks kind of the same. And this one was not. So there's our card. Now let's turn it around and we're going to take off the double stick tape. I always use this like a, a weeding tool to do it because my fingers just can't seem to get it right. But I do push down on the double stick tape so that when it first starts to like peel, it doesn't peel off. See how that almost peeled? So there you go. And we need to pick winners for these cards. Uh, is there anybody from Facebook around that wants to, uh, that wants to shout out and win this card? And then Loretta, can you pick, um, how to sell my old Legos? Okay. I'll do that. Um, I will take a lot, lots of pictures of her. I love Legos myself. Actually, me too. Um, and that's why I kind of indulge my son because I'd see something after a while. The first time I did a Lego project, I was like, I put it together. It was a small thing and I put it together and I hadn't ever done it before. And I was left with these pieces like extra. And I'm like, did I do it wrong? I don't know. Did I do it wrong? And I called up the Lego people and I'm like, why, if I follow the directions completely, why do I have these extras? And, and he says, the guy says, young guy, he's like, well, that's in case you lose some. And I was like, oh, you're kidding me. I thought it was like a puzzle. They only give you the puzzle pieces, right? And no, it's in case you lose some. And I was like, <laughs> how am I going to lose some? Oh, well, didn't I learn the, that really quickly? Those little tiny pieces would end up all over the place. Whenever I would sweep, I'd be like finding little Lego pieces, put them in my pocket, and then try to put them back into the Lego stuff. So that's, that's what um, I did for many years. That's what I did mostly before I started doing videos was a lot of Lego um, builds. So, so here, this is so easy to put together. I did put this uh, little bit of twine. It doesn't really match, but I don't, that's the one I had handy. So this, the way this goes is we've got the backs then we've got this silver. This silver I got uh, an eight and a half by eleven inch sheet of silver from Ma Ma what's it called? Michaels. Um, and then you put this on top. 
and you're supposed to be able to see that red through there. It's a little bit t tricky, but it does give a lot of dimension there. So we just need to glue these pieces on. I'm like wondering, did I, let's do it this way. I think that they're dimensional, but okay, here we go. So that's my story. It's never boring at this house. <coughs> it is never boring. There's always something going on. It could be a sitcom. Um, we just need a jingle. <laughs> we need a we need a song, a theme song. Um, but yeah, it's never boring at this house. And I, of course, congratulated my dogs for helping me find the, the rat and then my cat he got a little congratulations for having found it and I was able to sleep okay because actually Frankie slept with me in the bed because I'm like if there's more because usually where there's one there's another one so I was like hmm um yeah I know yeah you can't walk around barefoot oh yeah the dogs really do make it they make it um exciting to be around them everything's like woo and with my mom it's like everything is uh everything's an adventure it seems like now because she just doesn't remember uh things so so that's pretty it's pretty good um not saying that it's not frustrating because she sometimes can be frustrating, but she's in this thing like, I'm going to support you. And, and I was, because my sister told me she's going to want to come over. And didn't she ever, like, she just got a ride from the transportation guy and just decided to come over. She's like, I'm so bored over there. I needed something to do. And I'm like, oh, okay. Well, first on the list is this rat, <laughs> you know? And, uh, and I'm like, what should we do? First, we put a box over it so the dogs wouldn't play with it. Then she said, no, nah, just, I'm going to get some gloves and put them on and, you know. And then she sauntered into the kitchen, cleaned up the kitchen sink. Kitchen sink was always a big deal in my household was, you know, uh, the kitchen, your kitchen wasn't clean unless the sink was empty of dishes. So nothing was left in the drying rack. Nothing was left um, to be washed. And we did have a dishwasher, but as I think back... <laughs> The mailman's here. As I think back, um, she liked to wash her dishes. She never put pans in the dishwasher or anything. So she always did that. And my sister, who's like very, my younger sister, who's very fanatical about her kitchen, um, it does the same thing. She wipes down the whole sink. Like me, I couldn't be bothered. I'm like, the dishes are clean. And if they if they're out they're clean. You know, I mean, I'll put them all away eventually, but it's not like this imperative or I can't go to sleep. You know what I mean? Um, oh yes. A banner would be nice too, Gail. Yeah. And I suppose if you, that's going to, that brings up this banner that I'm going to do later on in the week, which is a back to school banner that I put together too. And, um, uh, I'm going to share with you. I think I might have shared in the community already. Um, and then tomorrow, what are we doing tomorrow? Tomorrow, we are going to uh, be making, we're going to do our foiling tomorrow. I haven't decided if I want to do it on the Joy or if I want to do it on the Maker. But we're going to make foiled uh, autumn leaf gift tags that are just beyond gorgeous. We're going to use some nice autumn cardstock and we're going to foil it with gold. I think it's going to look so beautiful. Um, and these, uh, the, the cardstock is, I'm sorry, not the cardstock. The images are from design space. So that's cool. All right. So there you go. That's our, those are our, um, those are our cards, and if you want to know how to do the, the, this part, I'll show you. 
just take a length, fold it in half. So you have this little loopy part, put the loop in here, open it up and take the back and pull it through and then tie a knot at the top. I do that with all my, all my uh, gift cards, although my gift tag. So I, um, I have different color twine. I'll use different color twine, but that's how you do that. All right. So let's, um, oh yes, Bren, of course, Penny, Bren, Bren deserves this. I'll be sending it. Actually, I have an envelope because I was trying to look for some of, um, Okay, so Bren is, why is there a charge? A charge? Not sure. Um, hey, thanks, Tammy. Oh, Bren and my glue bottle. So um, this was done when, it's interesting they picked Bren because I, I actually talked to her about this. So this was done when um, I realized that people were looking at what glue I was doing and I didn't want them to focus so much on the glue, but rather on the, uh, the project. So I just covered up my bottle with paper that I liked. And then I took tape and put it on top there. And that way, um, it doesn't have to be about brands, right? So then, uh, how about on, on, um, Facebook, uh, not Facebook on YouTube. Did you, uh, pick, pick a, uh, a winner, Loretta? Looking for a winner from Loretta. Um, Leslie, yay, my Massachusetts friend. So Leslie Audi um, will get one set of these. And my friend Bren from uh, Canada will get another set. And I'll put a whole bunch of these in there for you. So that way you have a couple of gift tags. I'll put it in an envelope and get it out in the mail this week. Um, along with the other ones from yesterday. So thank you all for coming today. Um, I really appreciate your time. I really do. And appreciate that you listen to all my, my silly stories. Um, and yeah, yeah. I think the dogs felt as far as the rat is concerned. I'm like, I know my neighbor next door had rats and I have a house that's in, has a field stone foundation. It's an old house. And, um, there are little cracks and holes in the Fieldstone Foundation. So when she got her rats to move on, because it's an old city and there are rats, you know, it, I think people are always like, what? And I'm like, you know, there's, there's critters all around here. It's not like you have to keep them out of your house, of course, but you're never going to eradicate all of the rats in the world. Um, so, so, I mean, I was surprised that it was right there behind, <laughs> behind me, but I was like, um, you know, I'm not like insane. I'm not going to be like, put down rat poisoning and blah, I can't have rats. You know, we're going to come up with a, a better solution and, and, uh, that will be, that will be fun. All right. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, they're silly. My stories are silly. Um, thank you, Sue. So today, just if anybody is following my, my journey, which it is a journey. Um, I, oh, I forgot to show you these too. Um, if anybody's following my journey, I am going for my first treatment today, um, to, to get rid of the pain, hopefully when I walk, uh, and it's radiation treatment. And then not until like the beginning of August, do I start the other ones? So I wanted to show you these. I got, look at these lovely cards. I got this one's from Christine. Christine Vate and um is this, even though this stinks I'm here for you isn't that beautiful thank you Christine look at this one thinking of you is this from this is from a Nat King and she put that together there's like a piece she probably got it out of a nice uh deck of of paper and then she stamped inside, thinking of you each day, sending prayers for strength and caring thoughts for comfort. You guys, I'm going to, this time, I'm going to make a journal of some sort. I'm actually already started a journal, but I'm going to include these things in there, especially because I saw this one from Regina. 
and it says what cancer cannot do. And I'm going to turn that into a uh, something, a, a cricket file. It says cancer is so limited. It cannot cripple love. It cannot shatter hope. It cannot corrode faith. It cannot eat away peace. It cannot destroy confidence. It cannot kill friendships. It cannot shut out memories. It cannot silence courage. It cannot reduce eternal life. It cannot quench the spirit. So that's from my friend Regina, who I always think is in Canada, but she really is in New Jersey. <laughs> Thank you so much, Michelle. I love, love, love. Uh, I love that you're praying for me. I know you're praying for me. This one is for my friend Kathy Mordecai, who is moving. And she even wrote inside, my cricket is packed up for our imminent move. So I had to use a store-bought card because she probably knew that I would scold her for buying a card. But I love it. Um, thank you so much. And it is, has glitter on the front. And then this one for my friend Babs. Babs, you know her as ba Babs, I think. Babs Zieta or Zaleski, you might know her as. But look, she's got a corgi. She's got a corgi named Gracie Junebug. And look at this. Is this not gorgeous? I mean, look at the time on this. I just love it. And it has these corgi uh, stickers that she made and I guess she's using print and cut and then she's putting it all together just so beautiful oh my gosh it's so inspirational so these are all anything I get from you guys I save of course but I'm going to put them in a special like I don't know some kind of special uh album or something it's so beautiful <laughs> Yeah, you know it's from Babs, right? Wynoma, my cancer is the se this is the second time. The first one was br just breast cancer. Now it's back and it's metastatic. So the cancer is in my hips, um, in my bones, and particularly in my hip, my left hip. So, um, they're going to treat it cause it's metastatic. They can't like do surgery on it cause it's moving all around. So instead they're going to treat it with, um, a variety of things. One is like an infusion to help build my bones up. And then it's a shot that I have to get on a regular basis and then an oral medication and then radiation for, um, at least for now, that's, that's the plan, but they're going to do other scans and they're going to sort of treat as they see things on the scan. So yes, I need all of your prayers and I so appreciate, um, I appreciate them. Um, what's my address? Could somebody, um, post it? in there for you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, and I appreciate all of you. I really do. Thank you so much for, for watching or for the replay people. Thank you so much. And I will see you tomorrow for doing these foiled, uh, tag gift tags that are foiled that are autumn leaves so pretty you're gonna love them we're gonna do that tomorrow and we're gonna get to the bottom of our gift tag i'm sorry of our foil fears okay we're not gonna be afraid of working with 12 by 12 sheets of foil and we're going to do a bunch of gift tags. So if you happen to make a banana bread or something, you could add it to the banana bread with a little string and, and people will really enjoy it, get a kick out of it. So um, thank you everyone so much. Um, yes, you have. Uh, hi, Susan. Um, thank you, Dawn. Thank you. I will also, yep, we're going to do the Zoom this Saturday. And um, that's we're back to the Monday through Friday, nine o'clock schedule because I like it. I'm used to it. And I know a lot of you were too. So, um, thank you for coming today and we will see you again tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Oh, if you won the card, send me an email. Okay. With your, your address on it. My email is miss Rita to the rescue at gmail.com. Thanks everybody. Bye. Love you.